Welcome, friends, to a word of hope for Wednesday of the fourth week of Easter. I'm Father Andrew Carl Wisdom, Vicar for Mission Advancement and Assistant Novice Master here at our novitiate in Denver, Colorado. And the eight novices are still with us. Much as we thought we might scare them and they'd go home, they're still here with us. So thank you for your prayers for them. Friends, I'm always amazed at the amazing transformation of from Lent to season to the Easter season, you know, first in our churches and the decorations. But then I'm almost amused as well in our own homes. We go from Lenten abstinence in our kitchens to this Easter exuberant excess. And that certainly happened to us this year. I come down in our once spacious white kitchen countertop was filled with cinnamon buns and cookies and cupcakes and caramel rolls. One of the novices had written a little post-it uh, on one of the packaged sweets, and it said, and so it begins, a reference and echo of King Theoden in The Lord of the Rings. And so it begins. That's an accurate way of expressing exactly what's happening in the post-resurrection church. We hear in our first reading today, the word of God continued to spread and grow. With this head-swiveling speed, all of a sudden, there's a thousand believers, and then three thousand believers, and then five thousand believers. It's so exciting. The post-resurrection church has such conviction in the risen Christ that they're out spreading the news everywhere. We hear in today's reading uh, about Mark, and we hear about Barnabas and Saul uh, being set apart for the work the Holy Spirit is calling them to. Peter's everywhere on every liturgical channel in the Liturgy of the Word and in the readings for the Mass, in the Psalms, Liturgy of the Hour. And we hear in the gospel, Jesus talking about the one who sent him apart and set him on mission, the Father, and how he only does what the Father tells him to do. And he captures the spirit of the moment when he says, I came into the world as a light. What does our liturgy of the hour say about light as Christ? He says, Christ has won for us himself. And you must proclaim what he has done for you. He has called you out of darkness into his own wonderful light. That is the mission we have as a post-resurrection church. So it begins again with each one of us, and then it continues. We are the extension of the risen Christ and his message of light in the world. So be that light today, this week this very moment. God bless you.